Why now, Todd? Why take on Trump now? Well, I think with immigration reform in the news and with a lot of false information out there, we thought it's a great time to remind people of the incredible role that immigrants play and why we need to fix our broken immigration reform system. And that means sensible security provisions. It means having an immigration system that works for today's economy. And it means for the 11 million undocumented immigrants who are here, giving them the ability to go through a background check and come out and get legal status and a pathway to citizenship. And, it, you know, oh. the time to do that is now. Okay, so you've said Trump and Scott Walker don't have the best stance on immigration, but, but what candidates do you like? Who's doing it right? Well, let me pause. When, I say, when you say they don't have the best stance, let's say exactly what, what it is. When you talk about rounding up and forcibly deporting 12 million people, you know, that's creating a police state. That's costing, according to a political or uh, conservative think tank, $600 billion, uh, you know, that's not just not being good on immigration reform. That's against American values. So I think it's really important to put a pin in that and say, you know, this isn't about arguing at the margins here. This is to say, we believe that we're not going to go and do this horrible thing that's being proposed. How, okay, so what candidates do you like? Who's closest to what you want? Well, I think there's a number of candidates on both sides of the aisle who, on this basic question that I want to talk about today, which is, you know, are we really going to round up um, and, you know, 11 million people. Are we going to say that we think we should radically restrict the ability of the United States to have the best and the brightest come here? If you look at both sides of the aisle, you know, you'll see people who are doing great in the polls, people who aren't doing great in the polls, who are in favor of that. Um, but this baseline question here is, I think, a really important one. Um, and you see that on the Democratic side, somebody like Secretary Clinton. You look uh, on the Republican side, you see someone like Lindsey Graham. Um, you look at somebody like Governor Bush. You know, these are people who are all willing to say the obvious to us, which is the idea that we're going to round up these people is just plain wrong. Okay. Quickly, Todd, uh, how involved is Mark Zuckerberg at this point? How often does he check in with you? What does he want? Well, Mark is one of, obviously, uh, one of our really high-profile founders. He's really passionate about this issue. You know, what I'm really excited about at Ford is, you know, we actually just crossed over having 405,000 different people speak out in favor of immigration reform, to contact their member of Congress in support of immigration reform. You know, every day we don't pass immigration reform, costs our economy $37 million. Um, it's, it's hurting the technology okay. industry. It's hurting families. Um, and so every day we go along is just we're, we're getting stronger.